No one likes having problems with theirs or their clients' websites, especially not at 11.30 on a Friday night. Now that's why over the last few months, I've been implementing and tweaking a site management setup that I'm happy with. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of what I use and how I actually use it. And what I'm hoping is that this will demonstrate that by building a robust site management and recovery setup, it will give you peace of mind. And if you have multiple websites to manage, well, it just makes the whole process way easier. Now there are currently four pieces to my existing setup. Now the first part is to use a good quality and reliable hosting company. Now I've worked with these for over 10 years and if I have a question or an issue, I get a reply within minutes from real human beings and they've been able to get me out of a jam on more than one occasion. Now in addition to the support, they provide daily, weekly and monthly backups across all of my client sites. This is something that if anything happens, I've got multiple updates that I can reinstate quickly and get the site back online while I fault find the cause of the issue. So never cheap out or underestimate the importance of a good quality host with professional and quick technical support. They can save your bacon when you're in a pinch or up against the wall and you just don't know where to turn. Now moving beyond the hosting company, I have WP Reset. And this is probably the newest addition to my client management and hosting toolkit and one that allows me to quickly take snapshots of sites before I do anything to them. Now snapshots are super useful. I can click a button or I can even automate the process with WP Reset Pro and make changes, test new plugins with knowing that if anything happens, I can immediately switch back to the original setup. Snapshots are just super easy to work with. You can automate the process or you can manually create a snapshot at any point in your process. All you need to do is choose the WP Reset menu on the toolbar at the top or come down into your tools option and choose WP Reset Pro from there. And this is one of those features that the manual way of working is completely free. You can have this in the free version. If you're using the pro version, you can also automate everything. All you need to do is come over to snapshots and from there you can see I've already created a range of different snapshots. And what a snapshot is, is taking a snapshot of the plugins, the theme, the different things you have set up at a given point in time, you can save those and then you can try some other things and then you can call back up those snapshots whenever you want. So you can see I've got actions over on the right hand side of any of these previous snapshots and I can click the actions and you can see I can restore them, I can compare them to see the differences between various different snapshots, I can download it. I can edit the snapshot, I can delete it, or if I've got the pro version, I can upload that snapshot to the WP Reset Cloud. So I have a version up in the cloud that I can call back up at any point. Creating a snapshot is incredibly simple. All we need to do is click on Create Snapshot, give that a name, and we're just gonna call this Test Snapshot. We'll then hit Create Snapshot. That will then save it, and after a couple of seconds, you can see it gives the countdown of all the things it's doing. It's then saving that snapshot to our site, and we can then use that at any point to call it back up. Once that snapshot is created, you can see there's our test snapshot. It tells us it contains 12 core and 30 custom tables, totaling X number of rows. So obviously, the bigger the site, the more plugins you have, the more theme controls you have, you know, the sort of just the bigger site you have, this will take obviously longer. But if you want to compare two, you can easily do that, say compare snapshot to current data. So we could say, let's take a look at this pre-collection setup. We'll compare that to what we currently have. There you go. It tells us exactly what the differences are between them and what the similarities are between them. So it's a very, very useful way of working. And like I said, the fact that if you're using the pro version, you can automate this whenever you make changes. That is just a nice little icing on the cake. This also works well with WP Vivid Backup Pro and how I have that set up to automatically create incremental backups whenever there's an update to WordPress, a theme or a plugin. But I'll cover that in a little bit more detail later on. Now, another area that's proven incredibly useful to me is the collections feature where I can create as many collections of themes and plugins that I need and then I can install them and optionally activate them with just a couple of clicks. This is incredible for saving time. With a nice clean copy of WordPress installed, all I need to do is make sure I've got the WP Reset plugin installed and activated. I'm using the Pro version for this, and I can come into the WP Reset options and come down into Collections. 
So once I'm in the WP Reset Collections area, then I can do a couple of really simple things. I can add a new collection if I wanted to create something from scratch, but the simplicity and the beauty of this is the fact that I've already created that. I've got the WooCommerce Clean and Basic, and I can have multiple different collections inside here, and I can pick and choose whatever I want. So I've got that all ready to go. So all I need to do is choose the action or actions that I want to undertake. As you can see, I can install the entire collection. I can do things like install and activate. I can delete, I can rename this collection. I can add extra things into it if I want to expand this collection. And then each individual entry also has the option to install, install and activate and so on. The beauty of this though is that I can do this with free themes, free plugins, but I can also do it by uploading direct to my cloud account as part of WP Reset Pro. I can upload any prepaid licensed copy of a theme or a plugin and I can choose then to activate it or just install it. It will take the information, my serial number, my key, whatever it is, and it'll work with that flawlessly. The only time it doesn't kind of work is where you need to send it over to someone like Freemium, which allows you then to, or Freemius, I think it is, allows you to connect it through to that. You'd have to do that manually, but it still makes the whole process super simple. So I've got a pile of different plugins. I've got a theme and all those kinds of things set. All I need to do now is choose to install this collection. So I'm going to install. You can see I can choose to install and activate, just install, etc., etc. So I'm going to just say I want to install the collection. Then it says it's going to go through, tell me each one that it's going to install. Once it's finished that, if I'd chosen to automatically activate, then they would all be activated. Or, as I've done in this case, I can manually activate them to make sure that the whole process is nice and simple and straightforward for me. So we'll say OK on there, let that go through. And once that's finished, that should reset and we'll have everything installed, ready to start working and building our site. There we go. Our collection was installed successfully. So now if I come over and take a look at the plugin section, we'll see all those plugins are now installed, just not activated. But like I say, you can choose to activate, you can choose to whatever you kind of want to do from the options available. So it's a really nice, clean way of doing things. It just makes my whole life a lot easier. And now I can activate the ones I want to, and then things like SEO plugins that I may want to do right at the end, or security plugins that I don't want to activate during the development process, well, I can pick and choose which is activated at any particular point. But this just saves me a ton of time, and another reason why I absolutely love WP Reset Pro, just, it's just a cool plugin. WP Reset also takes the hassle away from a site that may fall victim to hacking, issues that corrupt files or accidental deletions of files and folders by providing a super useful emergency recovery script or ERS. And the best part is you don't even need to have WP Reset installed on the site that's experiencing issues. This is an absolute godsend if you have problems. Now, if you'd like to check out my detailed overview of WP Reset, the free and the pro version, there's a link in the description below. And at the time of recording, there's an absolutely awesome lifetime deal over on AppSumo. Again, the link for this is in the description below. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at WP Reset Pro and the need for a super helpful and supportive hosting company, I move on to the next key component in my site management toolkit. WP Vivid Backup Pro. Now this plugin takes the stress away from backing up and updating sites and well, it just gives you peace of mind. I absolutely love the automatic backup before update option. This alone, in my opinion, is worth the price of the Pro version. It simply means that at any time I update a plugin, theme or core files, there's a backup created automatically and I have this set to upload to remote cloud storage in case something happens to the site and or the storage. Now, if you ever run updates on a complex or large site and have a plugin go rogue or take down your site or give you that dreaded white screen of death, you'll know that absolute sinking feeling. Now, this just makes the problem super convenient to fix by restoring the site incredibly quickly. Now, if you don't have a host who runs a backup server or you simply want to have another level of redundancy, and this is something you really should have, you can schedule backups, manage the number you keep, what's backed up and where they're stored. So making changes to live sites is always a potential for problems. So working on a staging site is always something recommended. And this is another one of those areas that's quick and easy to accomplish with WP Vivid Backup Pro. And when you're ready to push those changes out to the live site, well, that's covered too. Now, for ease, the developers have recently made the staging site tools a separate plugin, but this should be included in your pro license. So taking advantage of that particular feature should still be a simple affair. 
If you'd like to take a look at the coverage of both the free version and the pro version of WP Vivid Backup, I'll drop some links in the description below so you can check that out. Now finally, we have the one piece of the puzzle that holds most of the process together, and that's main WP. Now you may be asking, what exactly is main WP? In its simplest terms, it's a multi-website management tool that uses a child plugin to link your websites and then let you manage and monitor many aspects of the site remotely from within a nice simple dashboard. This makes it invaluable for easy website management. Now, MainWP is totally free unless you need some of the advanced options, but for most people, the free version will do everything you need it to. Why is this the glue in the process? Well, simple really. You can use MainWP to link up to WP Vivid Backup Pro to manage things directly inside your MainWP dashboard. Once you've installed the child plugin into your site and follow the simple process for adding your site to the main WP dashboard, you can see what needs to be managed on the site, run basic security checks and manage the updates, backups and so much more. So this means that I can quickly run a manual backup, send it remotely to cloud storage and then manage each step of the update process spread across themes, core WordPress files, translations and plugins. Should something go wrong, which it can do, I can restore remote backup within main WP and that can generally take minutes. Now this just reduces any headache of having to log into sites, remember passwords, manually update things, and then the problem solve, you know, should there be an issue. Now another area that makes things highly automated is if you link your main WP site to the Uptime Robot site, you can monitor sites for any kind of downtime and get almost real time notifications if a site does in fact go offline. So one of those best tools is the uptime monitoring, which is a free extension for main WP. And you can link that through, like I've already said, to the free uptime robot account that you can set up with up to 50 different sites associated with it. And just adding these in through main WP is incredibly simple. You can see I've got a couple of sites already set up and being monitored on a five minute by five minute basis, which is again, part of that free plan. And what I can do is I can create a new monitor so I can click and I can just come in and I can just set things up directly from inside here. So I don't even need to jump over into the uptime robot site to do things. Or if I want to, I could create monitors for all my sites. So I can click and it just asks me, are you sure you want to go ahead and do this? If you are, then you can run that through and that'll create uptime monitors for all of the sites that you have as part of your account. You can also come in and take a look at any recent events so you can see which site had a problem, what the problem was, the time, the date, how long it lasted for, and all those kinds of incredibly useful things. If anything goes wrong with your site, you'll get a notification. With the free account, it's only an email notification to a designated email account. But if you choose the pro plan where you pay for this and they start at about $7 a month, then you can get SMS messages sent out so when you're dealing with critical websites for clients, you can make sure that if anything goes wrong, you'll get notified with at least one method to let you know that something's happened. The uptime monitoring is also a lot quicker when it comes to working with the pro plan. That's every minute, I believe. So you get, you know, at worst, you're gonna have 60 seconds of the site gone down before you get pinged with an SMS message and or an email, and then you can go and deal with that at any time. So it's very useful and one of those key things that for me personally, it's just a bit of a godsend. I just love this particular feature and the free version covers most bases for most of us. You can use the free uptime robot plan to monitor up to 50 sites, which should, well, you know, give most freelancers peace of mind. And when you get over that 50 sites or you want some of the additional pro options, you can upgrade for as little as $7 a month when it's billed annually. Now, best of all, you can set a main WP to run either on a dedicated domain, a subdomain, or even on its own virtual server on a local computer. Now you may be saying, why would you want to do the latter? Simple, for added security, knowing that, well, your local site is gonna be a lot harder to hack, and then you're not gonna end up with a compromised, you know, website management setup. Now I've covered main WP in its own dedicated video, and the link to that is in the description. So if you wanna see a lot more detail, well, I've covered most of that in there. So this is the basis for my website and client management process. Great tools that ease the pressure when managing lots of WordPress sites that require almost constant updates, fixes, backups, and way more. But what are you using to manage yours and your client sites? 
I'd love to know, so let me know in that comment section below. Let me know what tools you're using, if it's a similar setup to what I have or something completely different. i just love to get your feedback on that below. As always, all of the links for everything I've covered in this video is in the description below. If you want to check those out, you can do. And as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.